this is a survey from pearl.com, which is basically like a chat GPT, Claude type product that's out there. Their survey was about using AI for personal financial and tax advice. And the results of this survey, basically almost 20%, so one in five have lost $100 or more due to AI giving poor financial and tax advice. I mean, 22% of people, Gen Zers are using it for stock advice, 20% are using it for crypto advice, 10% are using it for tax advice. And 31% said they would let AI defend them in court if it was free. And 28% would sign AI drafted legal documents. But I think you can, as an accounting firm, here's two articles you could send your clients this week an email and justify your cost and your human involvement in their financial life, their tax life and their financial life. And you could just point like, hey, if you're paying attention to social media, you're screwed. If you're trying to use AI for your finances, you're screwed. You as a firm could use these two articles in the show notes and justify a price increase maybe, I don't know, or at least communicate to your clients your value. I think what's fascinating about that story most to me is how much people are willing to trust AI to make decisions for them. I use it and I think of it as like an advisor or a resource, but ultimately I'm not going to let it make the decision for me. I still have to go through that decision-making process and use the information it gives me, take its opinion. It's like a, like a friend, a sounding board. A sounding board is the way to treat it, yes. But people are just accepting it as like the truth and just delegating their decision-making to it, at least, you know, a good chunk. And I mean, that's so risky. And I think a lot of it is probably social media, right? Somebody's like, oh, I let ChatGPT tell me what stock to buy. And then one person doesn't get success and that video goes viral, then everybody uses it. And then nobody's making the videos of I lost, I lost, I lost. You're not seeing all those videos. It's that same world we live in. You nailed it.